Uh, welcome back, guys, to Star Wars The Old Republic with me, that far swipe, and our hostess, Avangeli. I just watched over the last episode, and boy, did I crack up at the end. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. But anyway, it's time to go to the tomb of Nagasadao. The final destination on Karaban. Fon may have a head start on us, but I actually know what to do, unlike he does, so... The playing field is levelled. Acolyte, may I speak to you for a moment? Out of my way, worm. Please, I didn't mean to offend, I just wanted to... There was another Acolyte, not long ago, who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. And you were worried I might die as well? That's sweet. Oh, no! I mean, of course you would survive if you went in there. It's just... The acolyte who went in there. He... He was a good sort. Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. I just thought it would be nice if somebody took his body back and... told his father he didn't make it. So go do it already, you useless woman. I'd never survive in there. And even if I did... I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. He is a dark honor guard stationed in the academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the fallen. I expect a reward. This dark honor guard better make it worth my while. Thank you so much. If you find the acolyte's remains inside the tomb, let me know. I can tell you where to find his father in the academy. Good luck. Right. Let's go inside and see what we have. this? Another quest? I'm surprised a wretch like you can talk. One of the overseers abandoned you? You must want revenge. Yes, yet, 
الأخير يكون هبيش يتقوش في إسول استخلوهي بتاعه If you can't feed yourself, you deserve to starve. I guess it's a bad time to be you. Macrabio, Chief Lekiak. Zwakio, Kwafaki, Yeslik. Zutan, Gersha, Martor, Shilagiak. Get out of here before I tire of looking at you. Tiefil, Yetro, Habi, Yetugushfe, Esolis de Horohibna. I expect adequate compensation. Oh, Okay, I'm gonna head back outside the gym. And there's a big, there's a good reason for this because I need to go back into the academy to further those two side quests. And I'd rather do that right now rather than go all the way to the tomb just to get the main question, just to come all the way back, just you to go all the way back in. That poor acolyte. If I do it this way, all I have to do is go back to the academy for a few, a few steps to the academy. Go back in, I can get it all wrapped up in one go. What's the next move? His father is, was, Naaman Fall. As I said before, he's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the Acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. I suppose it's always good to make powerful friends. You can find the Acolyte's father outside the chamber of the Dark Council. That's where he stands guard. Okay, the overseer we're looking for for the beast should be right here. This might lead up, and this conversation is going to lead up to one of only a few light side choices I'll be making in the playthrough. So, this officially is Avagili's first light side choice. What do you want? I'm training slaves to feed the beasts, and I don't have time to chat. I'm here for a special meal. You know the kind. You. You've been talking to Seyrun, haven't you? That creature was close to me when I was an acolyte. It helped me survive my trials. It traveled places I couldn't, told me everything it heard and saw. It had been living off vermin before I came along. I figured out a way to make it healthier, stronger. Seyrun's special meals. It seemed too pitiful to be useful. I thought the same thing at first. I didn't realize. Seyrun never knew exactly what I fed it. Its meals weren't just beast fodder. Seyrun ate the corpses of the Academy's failures. The bones and blood of dead acolytes. Feeding on their energy after death, it grew exponentially more powerful with every meal. It became strong in the dark side. How did a fool like you become an overseer? 
Maybe taking Seirun was a mistake, but I was... We were strong together. When I saw how twisted Seirun was becoming, I sent it away. It was becoming hungrier all the time, and I feared it would attack the living. Destroying it seemed impossible. It could heal any injury it suffered. I hoped it would find a new home somewhere, but it seems we must act more decisively. If it bleeds, I can kill it. No, that is... Seirun may not be strong enough to kill Acolytes on its own, but it can't be slain. Its regenerative abilities draw on the power of the Force. Together, we must poison Seirun. Before I sent Seirun away, I developed a powerful toxin, but I didn't have the heart to use it. It won't kill the creature, but it should strip it of its power. That'll do nicely. I take some pride in the formula. If we do this, Seirun won't survive much longer. It will hide as best it can and slowly starve. But the alternative is to let it become a living horror. Then let's poison that thing. I'm glad you see it as I do. I'm giving you this meat. Don't ask me where it came from, but it should fool Seirun. Once the poison is in its system, it will weaken. I take no satisfaction in this, but it is necessary. I do. Right, let's go upstairs. Oh fuck, I just missed the elevator. You don't belong here. You stand before the Chamber of the Dark Council, and this floor is off-limits to all who are not Lords of the Sith. If you are not on official business, you will leave now. Wow, this looks like a nice place to hang out all day. How do I land your job? You kill more people than you ever knew were alive, and when you are done, you... I sense. You are carrying my son's remains. He was such a weak boy. He shames me in death as he shamed me in life. When I heard of his death, I could not leave my post. Honor forbade it. Still, I would like to know what happened in there. Tell me about what happens around here first. Must be pretty crazy. This is where the Dark Council meets. Where Sith politics play out. Where the Emperor issues his decrees. And where lives are destroyed with the flick of a wrist. Satisfied? Now tell me, where did you find his body? Did my pathetic son even make it past the first steps? In the end, was he Sith? He died right at the entrance of the tomb. Pathetic indeed. Of course he did. Every moment of his life existed only to mock me. I will keep his bones to remind me of my shame and to focus my anger. But you have done me a service, and such deeds should be repaid. You have brought me pain and torment. I will return the favor. My son sought a relic I placed in the base of a cracked statue, deep in the tomb. This crystal will release it. Now go. Okay. Now we can go back into the tomb and finish, completely finish it off. See, I have strategy.
to the tomb. On a panther. It's right here. Have it. Don't say thank you or anything. You just need to learn to deal. Collect the rod. Crappy little tweeb. Now collect the rod.
I'll oh, wait for these two to respawn here. So I can get the bonus. I'll come back when that happens, so until then.